Hi there and welcome to my beginner's introduction to Rope Dart and Meteor Hammer. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you some basic moves with the Rope Dart or Meteor Hammer that you can try out yourself. Rope Dart and Meteor Hammer are flexible weapons from Chinese martial arts where a rope is attached to either a pointy metal dart or a blunt but heavy metal ball. The flexible rope makes this weapon more difficult to control than rigid weapons like swords or staffs. It is essential to keep the weapon in constant motion using various parts of your body. You can shoot out and retract the dart, making the rope dart a ranged weapon. Once you get the hang of it, you can include all kinds of movements into your flow and really get creative with the way you keep the dart spinning. If you want to build your own rope dart or meteor hammer, stay until the end of the video where I show you how I built mine. The length of the rope depends on the body of the wielder. The rope is attached to the offhand or anchor hand with a simple slip knot. It should have such a length that if you stretch out both arms, the dart head barely touches the ground and is able to swing freely from side to side. This ensures that the dart head doesn't hit the ground when you retract it after a shot. To manage the rope length, I make a small loop in the slack rope and hold it between my ring finger and middle finger. Now, on to the first movement that I'm going to teach you. First off, you want to hold the dart end relatively short and just start spinning the rope dart. Then turn your body and extend your lead arm to one side so that the rope dart flies out to that side. Try to get a feeling of how much you have to turn your body in order to arrest the momentum of the dart so that it stops in mid-air. Pull back the dart, spin it and do the same on the other side. Once you have this down, it's time to let the rope slide in your hand. Again, spin the rope dart and now let it slide between your index finger and thumb. Your anchor hand controls how long the rope is going to shoot out and you can also pull back the rope with your anchor hand. Then try to gradually increase the length of rope that you shoot out. It is very important that you learn to stall the dart when it's fully extended so that you can easily retract it. You can also lean into the shot for full extension and maximum reach. Now I'll show you a technique that I use to retract the rope dart. Once the dart is fully extended, I stretch out both arms and pull back the dart with my anchor hand. I pinch the rope with the fingers of my lead hand, then I use my anchor hand to further pull in the rope and close the loop of slack rope. Then just continue to spin the rope dart. Once you manage the isolated movements, try doing all of them in a fluid motion, so that the dart continues moving throughout the motion. When you pull in the dart, it should spin in the opposite direction as when you shot it out. Again, as you learned in the very first exercise, you can stall the dart behind you and reverse the direction of the spin to shoot it out again. Now, try shooting out the dart and retracting it with this motion. You can retract the dart to either side of your body. A fun exercise can be to stack objects onto another and try to shoot them down with a rope dart. This practices the simple shot and the retrieval of the rope dart.
The next basic skill that I want to show you is the windmill motion. On your right side, you want to spin the rope forward, turn in your lead hand and let the rope hit the inside of your arm at the bicep. As soon as the rope touches your bicep, turn your torso to bring the rope back around to the other side of your body. To bring the rope dart back to the other side again, you now want to let the rope hit the outside of your arm at the bicep. Again, as soon as the rope touches your bicep, turn your body to the other side to bring the rope back around. From there, you can link both sequences together to perform a continuous windmill motion from side to side. It's very important that the two rotational planes on which the rope dart spins are parallel to each other. Imagine you're standing in a narrow alley with two parallel walls and don't want the rope dart to hit either wall while spinning. Finally, I'm going to show you how I constructed my rope dart. The dart head that I use is a tennis ball filled with coins and wrapped in duct tape and weighs approximately 200 grams. The keyrings are attached for decoration and sound. I use a soft rope from a martial arts shop specifically made for flexible weapons. But you can also use different rope, however it should be a soft rope and not too abrasive to the hand. The dart head is attached to the rope with a special knot which you can see me perform here. Thank you all for joining me in this tutorial and I hope that I've inspired you to try out the rope dart for yourself.